This scene is taken from King John, Act 3, Scene 4. I play Constance, mother to young Arthur. Here, she is pleading for help from King Philip of France and hand off the Pope's emissary because King Arthur has been taken by King John. Thou art not holy to belie me so. I am not mad. This hair I tear is mine. My name is Constance. I was Geoffrey's wife. Young Arthur is my son. And he is lost. I am not mad. I would to heaven I were for them. It's like I should forget myself. Oh, if I could, what grief should I forget? Preach some philosophy to make me mad, and thou shalt be canonized, cardinal, the being. Not mad, but sensible of grief. My reasonable part produces reason. How I may be delivered of these woes and teaches me to kill or hang myself. If I were mad, I should forget my son or madly think a babe of clouts with me. I am not mad to her. Too well I feel the different plague of each calamity. And, Father Cardinal, I have heard you say that we shall see and know our friends in heaven. Is that be true? I shall see my boy again. For since the first male child to whom that did be yesterday suspire, there was not such a gracious creature born, but now will canker sorrow eat my bud and chase the native beauty from his cheek, and he will look as hollow as a ghost, as dim and meagre as an ague's fit, and so he'll die. And rising so again, when I shall meet him in the course of heaven, I shall not know him. Therefore, never. Never must I hold my pity after more. Grief fills the room up of my absent child. Lies in his bed. Looks up and down with me. Puts on his pretty looks, repeats his words. Remembers me of all his gracious parts. Stops out his vacant garments with his form. Then have I reason to be fond of grief. Fare you well. You, such a loss as I, I give you better comfort than you. Oh, Lord, my boy, my Arthur, my fair son, my life, my joy, my food, my all the world. My widow comfort and my sorrow's cure.